just remember this. The last frost date, you want to write this down, is May 9th. The locals use Mother's Day as the demarcation line for planting your summer plants. Before that, you're planting, we, we've been harvesting kale and arugula and uh, rhubarb and you know, uh, cabbage and lettuce, all the leafy things for months. Uh, but we have not planted our summer things yet. We'll go over why, or that's mm -hmm. mainly because of the frost. We'll go show you how to cheat and warm things up without having a greenhouse as well before we're all done with this. Uh, and then the, the first frost of the year is October 29th. Uh, generally, we use Halloween as the first frost. So your uh, Brandywine tomatoes, your uh, anything with their name big in it, tomato, you know, tomatoes like this big, the huge slicers, uh, they will be green covered and frost is coming. You've not picked one yet. So you got to be, be aware of that and watch that so you know when to cover them or when to pick them and ripen them indoors, that kind of stuff. But I think it's really nice here. Oh. Um, we have a couple of uh, vegetable growing seasons. So uh, we're just kind of ending to, that spring now, growing season around. where kids we'll said sure you're you growing your lettuces, kales, uh, spinach, all that kind of stuff. And the other great thing about that is you can grow those again in the fall. Yeah. So come September, go ahead, grow your lettuces again, your kales, your spinaches, because then you can get another crop, broccoli, cauliflower. So you can actually get two seasons of your cool season vegetables, which is terrific. Uh, but your warm seasons, yeah, you get one chance.